Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back here to Potter's Resort in Norfolk for the 2021 Just World Indoor Bowls Championships. Coming up very shortly, Catherine Rednell will be playing Stuart Irwin. So, order of play for the rest of today. Shortly following this game, round about half past three, Marion Purcell will play Rebecca Wilgress. And then into the early evening, 7.30, Laura Daniels of Wales will play Scotland's Carla Banks. So back to the first game, let's have a look at our match officials. Mark and Neil Bryce, the umpire is Alan Thornhill and on the shot clock is Francis Fletcher. So let's go live to the portable rink here and bring on the players. First of all, representing England and playing in green, the World Open Pairs semi-finalists. Please welcome world number 98, Stuart Irwin. opponent representing England and playing in red with four world titles to her credit the 2019 world ladies match play champion please welcome Catherine Rednell Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at the World Indoor Bowls Championships at Potter's Resort. Another World Open singles match for you here. And in the commentary box for the rest of the day with me is Nick Brett. Good afternoon, Nick. Good afternoon. Good morning off. Yeah, lovely. Thanks. Welcome. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. So once again, thanks for joining us. If you do have any questions you want to ask, don't forget, just drop them down in the, the comments page and we'll just try and pick them up as we go along. Normal two sets of nine ends with a three end tie break. Stuart Irwin, been playing well earlier on in the rest of this week for the World Open pairs. Just narrowly losing out in that semi-final. Yep, yeah, sure played some good stuff. Medal, no stranger to this portable ring. Three times, ladies, world match play champion. 2014, 17, and 19. It was good to see the two sexes competing against each other. At such a high level in the game, Nick? Yeah, without a doubt. And Catherine being one of the one of the best. As her track record on this surface would say. Very nearly. One green. Yes. It's not in Catherine's way, but she may just want to change down the forehand, sit the the green bowls. Blade. One red. Yeah, good changeover from 
Catherine there. Similar shot, I would say. Yeah, if you can just get round the front, down to the red bowl, a little touch on the jacks, very good. Here's another shot on the backhand, but I just fancy he'll stay on the forehand. Yeah, I think if he had the last bowl, he may have played the backhand. Catherine's got one left, obviously. Shot clock down to two. Timed it very well. It is all down to pace. A great effort. He's just slightly touched his own bowl. They do kind of just slide on the carpet when they hit. So be a little look. Yeah, certainly would have edged it away a little bit. Well played again from Catherine. Two great balls there. Great end from both, really. It certainly is. And two and a look. Two shots, Catherine Randall. So it's a good start from Catherine. Catherine's obviously a substitution uh, in this event for <laughs> yourself, Nick. Yeah, very good substitution as well. Probably would have played more more close bowls than I would have done anyway. Jack Lane, 26 and a half metres. with the opening bowls in this end. Decent correction. It certainly is. Looking for a decent pace either side of Catherine's bowl. Just up, but they're still in the game. Gets in trouble, he can play the runner and then they'd be useful. Two red. Might be tempted. I think so. There is some gaps, but uh, drawing from there is hard work now. Or hand with weight, looking to get under the front red bowl. Needs to bend quickly. Ooh. Side of the target. Catherine, look to cover here. Well, split the man got the spot. But solid jack, two in the ditch.
Very close. Well, I think that's going to go out the side confines it has, so it'll go on to the respot. One shot, Catherine right now. Set score three zero after two ends. So just a, another single for Catherine. He was a little bit unlucky there. He hit the jack, just needed it more fuller really than that ball did. Yeah, hit the target, just not quite at the right angle. But cut down. So jack length, 26 metres. Looking for another good start here. Catherine obviously from a bit of a bowling family. Obviously John Rednell played at... And he's still playing at international level, you know, for, he won't mind me saying this for so long, <laughs> such a long, long time, such a great guy as well. Obviously, you're the father of two great players. How are yours getting on? Yeah, um, well, my oldest doesn't play anymore, but Chloe, my youngest one, still does. Um, fortunately, she's uh, in the junior national teams indoors and out, so I think she's enjoying that and progressing quite nicely. Two great opening bowls. I think at that kind of age as well, Nick, it's, it's trying to keep people interested, isn't it, as well? There's so much going on in life as well and wanting to travel and try new things. You know, it's, it's, it's just important and somehow you just got to kind of focus. It's one of them games, though, where you can leave it for a few years and always come back to it. Yeah, you know, you've got to want, you've got to, want to do it. And like you say, there's other things to do. And certainly my oldest, she's more of a gymnast and coaching in that. So that's her passion, really. Chloe enjoys the bowls and plays because she wants to, not because it's, because it's a bind. Because her dad forces her. <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> One green. Inch and a half past Jack High. I'll just nip that line. Yeah, she would have been trying to hold it in, but not quite that much. Stuart down the backhand, if just looking to get to Catherine's nearest bat bowl, be very good. She's already got a decent positional bowl. Just anything slightly past the jack, Nick. Yeah, or, or just in just in front, we'll do the opposite. Well, great ball. Two green. Catherine will just look to make contact, I think, with some pace or another. Yeah, just crunch the jack. Depends how far it moves. To hold up. Yeah, it goes quick on that side. I'm close for the second one now. Yeah, it's kind of just lent against the jack. It's kind of standing up on the seam, a bowl, I think, otherwise it would have Maybe sat back. Yours. Very, very close. It's probably safer draw of the forehand be now. Yeah, again down to the red bowl. One and a look. It's strange how a bowl does that, doesn't it, Nick? It's obviously, the, it's, it's obviously hand sewn and then the green's laid and then it's actually rollered as well. So it's rolled across the seam to get them as flat as it possibly can. It's, it's micro thin. Yeah, you can't, you can't actually feel it or notice it no. when you walk on it. It's literally just the case of... Oh, oh he's been unlucky. That was yeah. a fantastic ball. Really unlucky to fall back on his it own, but it's still a two. Set score, 3-2 after three ends. 
some good play. Yeah, very good. Jack length, 24 and a half metres. Good pace again, Catherine. Almost two feet. Still a fair bit of room. Similar kind of bowl, just try and get the adjustment in pace. Well, just slipping past again. I don't know whether Catherine would be tempted to swap hands, you know. Not stuck the line. One red. Still just the one red. So another chance for Stuart Irwin. We played again. Yeah, Catherine will be disappointed that she's not punished more. Yeah, it's a good opportunity to score multiples. Comes a two. Shots, Catherine Rednall. Another two shots for Catherine Rednall. Set score five two after four ends. You on the second dot, Catherine? Um, first one. Okay. Tee and then a dot. Yeah. 23 and a half metres. It's very technical. Yeah. Tee and a dot.
Again, just slipping round the jack. Yeah, correction, but you would hope for a little closer. But, uh. I had a quick chat with James Rippey after that amazing game this morning. He said he thought that the speed of the carpet just went a little bit quicker by around about two feet in that second set. So it's Liable to do the same again. Yep, we'll change One throughout round. the day. Too red. Just needs to bend all it can. Sits, it's got a chance. Looks green. Yep, it's the nearest. Just nip this line again. Yeah. Whether it's going to hang on enough. Needs to beat the red ball to the right of the jack. Has done. Ooh. Yep, two. Two shots, Stuart Irwin. Be interesting to see what he does Let's with this map now. After five ends. In the, in the pairs, we're playing that 26, 27 metre length jack quite a lot. And Stuart played it very well. Be interested to see whether he just puts this jack on the tee now where he is. They were playing that kind of length. Looks like he has. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. And bringing the mat up and putting the jack onto the tee almost guarantees what length you want because you've got like what three meters behind the tee to throw it in and it'll get reset to the tee yeah exactly you just give yourself that buffer you know you bring the mat to where you want it and all you've got to do is just pass the tee and like i say keep it on the green and it's worked Excellent reply from Catherine. No, you're one inch, almost one and a half inches off. One green. Nearly. Yeah, decent from both players. If I was Stuart, I'd just try and play maybe two balls wider. The pace was, you know, excellent to get to Catherine's. There's Catherine's obviously the danger of arriving on his own bowl, but... Eight inches from the jack. Gets the better of the two.
Oh, it's not wasted. This is one of them where Catherine might go a bit quicker. Last bowl. And it could depend on the on the spot or best back. Yeah, if she flicks the green bowl away from the jack, she'll be very close to the other bowl as well. If she gets a half on the jack, well, it could be a rebound anywhere. She's attacking. Needs to hold up. Same difficult thoughts for Sue, you know, ideally he'll want to beat the nearest red. Yeah, just in case she does wing this bowl out. Be careful. Yeah, she can play less pace just over the draw, but uh, as she showed with the first two, hard to get back on that track. Yeah, if you're just a foot or two over, they're just struggling this year with it being slightly sluggish. Again, just going for half on the bowl. If she gets the green bowl, she wants it on the far right side, not on the inside. It's no disaster. It's very close. Yeah, close for two now. One shot, Stuart Irwin. So a single shot for Stuart Irwin. Score five five after six end. All square again. Three ends remaining. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Great start again. Great to opening bowls. Catherine's not too far away and two down at the moment. To get back to Stuart's last bowl, doesn't want the hole. Ooh, yep, that should be enough. Great, well read. Corner of the red just got the wrong side of it. Wait, was perfect for it. One red. Well, 
big chance here for Stewart. Yeah, replace replace the red with his green. It would be a very good spot. Certainly will. He wasn't far away. Even if he gets to the red and falls against the jack, that would be very good also. Just got to decide it what pace he's playing at it. Yeah, he could be a little bit more aggressive now. We can get into the split. Well, here it comes. It's in the area again, Nick. It's going to be the shot, I think. Oh, oh it's dear me. It's still, still could be. But he's been a touch unlucky there. It certainly has. One red. Yeah, it's still one red. Time I called. Catherine has four time outs remaining. He was literally millimetres from being perfect. He either wanted the jack thinner or no jack. Yeah, ideally, he probably wanted another foot of pace just to get to the red first. But uh, still very unlucky. Yeah, to hit the jack and it just rolled past your two bowls is unlucky. Well, not an easy free shot for Catherine. Be close. Neil favoured the red. Don't forget, if you can't stay with us for the rest of the afternoon, you can catch up later on. All the bowls sent can be found on worldbowlstour.tv. Also on our streaming channels on Facebook and also YouTube. Give us a like and a share, please. That would be fantastic. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel and that will give you all the notifications necessary. Good call from One the shot. marker. Catherine Redknow. Yep, Stuart's hiding it from you. Set score, 6-5 after seven ends. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Good balls from Catherine. Very impressive ball CV. Both indoor and on the outdoor as well. Played in Commonwealth Games. Triples bronze medal in 2018. Stuart. Great adjustment there from Stuart. S subtle change of jack links from Catherine and Stuart's adjusted with the second one.
Same ball for Stuart. Again, I'd just be drawing down to the wing ball. He's got a similar shot, similar difficult shot to Tony. To get another, he's got to beat the red, but time called. it's probably just as safe Stuart to get past the minutes. first red. Where the one here is liner, all square, going into the final end. Keep bending. Great ball. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Catherine might be tempted to go a bit quicker now. Too green. She certainly got the back position. Any movement on the jack will only be in her favour. She gets to corner of the shorter shot bowl. That will also release the jack and then follow through. Ooh, snip the line. It's just setting off it. I think it's a little safer. Yeah. For Stuart now. I mean, obviously, if he plays the same hand, danger if he plays the backhand. But drawing up the forehand, there's there's no real danger now. No, I think the jack will just move completely sideways. It's yeah. not going to move back towards Catherine's bowls. Just make this count. That'll just give him that buffer, Nick, going into the last end. Yeah, because as it stands at the moment, <laughs> he would still need to score to win the set. Too far away, just needs to get inside the red. Looks like he's going Has to. done. Oh, great ball. Three shots. Stuart Irwin. So Stuart Irwin has a set score, 6 8 after 8. Two eights. shot lead now into this final end. Catherine played two good balls there, just over a foot away. Stuart played three balls inside them. Yeah, Catherine chose to play just over the pace shot and bowl high and a bowl tight you percentage of completion is very difficult and that's just what it was Jack length 26 and a half metres Again, a decent start. Catherine will be looking at just trying to get a two here for sure, just to tie this set. And she'll be happy with that at the moment. Anything more would be good, obviously. Yeah, she'll be looking to do it from the front two bowls. Yep. Merging this one forward. Really good. Certainly found his length in the last few ends. Now if Catherine can just get down to Stuart's bowl. Oh, she's been unlucky. One green. Very good bowl.
Still a chance here for Catherine. Yeah, similar to her last. Yeah. Maybe if she maybe needs to lift it over twice. Yeah, I'd probably be a bit, little bit more pace really, just to be a bit more direct. Just struggling, isn't it, Nick? Down that hand, just fighting all the way. Yeah, it's really difficult to get back just, just up. Yeah. She's literally going to have to be within millimetres of the front bowl, I think. True. But she's given herself a chance, that's the main thing. She will plan to get in that block first, or on this shelf. But uh, Catherine's got a chance just to win this set in a way. It's yeah. not an easy chance. Get into the split with a yard or so of pace. Probably hold you in for at least two. Yep. That'll be the first prize, and it's easy. The ball's only two and a half feet short. But she's brought it in a bowl. She's got the weight to go with it. Now needs to not, bend. Yeah, not coming down now. Unlucky, One very, very good try. But it's Stuart Irwin that takes. Single shot on the ninth end and takes the first set, nine shots to six. Good game so far, Nick. Yeah, really good standard. Catherine got a little bit of a lead in front. Stu got back. Big three in the eighth end was key. Yeah, quite evenly maxed. Stuart's just won the extra end, five ends out of the nine. But like you say, that big three, a good three as well. Yeah. So we start again, scores are reset to zero. Points. Catherine will be looking to win this set just to force the tie break. Once again, thanks for joining us, everybody. If you have a question for Nick, just let us know. Two great opening Agreed. balls again from Stewart. He's certainly just fallen into a bit of a groove now. He'd be buoyed from winning the first set. Yep. Now, can Catherine just get down to the jack? Certainly tracking well. She can run the last bit. Oh, brilliant ball. Absolutely brilliant. Inch perfect. One red. It's not so bad. Yeah, I think he'd be looking to be here. I think he's gone a little bit more aggressive than that. But then it won't, if, even if he misses, it'll keep. It's the end on the plant, just not thick enough. On red. I think Catherine just needs to cover this back position. It's going to be very difficult to get another. If she gets to the T, Nick. Perfect. Gets yeah. to the T, that's perfect. She can't. She can't stop anything else other than that. I think if, if she gets the green plant, it's going to get some movement on the jack, and the red bowl certainly will. Time I called. Catherine. 
Catherine has three timeouts remaining. Sit her oh. own down. Oh. Oh. Well, one red. Oh, she's unlucky just to finish with just the one shot. It's going to be sim something similar for Stewart. It's a good ball that because it's not made it any bigger, neither Nick. Because no, obviously Stewart's playing the other hand. It's hiding behind her own front two red there, but nearly sat her own out. Yes. Swapping hands. Is he going quicker or just playing over the pace? Drift by with weight on this hand. It's only one. One shot, Catherine right now. Hmm. We well, chose the harder shot. I thought he'd be he could play any pace he wanted up the backhand. Yeah, he played two good balls there, but Catherine found two storming balls, just made a one with them. Quick question, Nick. If you ever play at this level and you're just kind of struggling to drop on your normal form. Is there a process you go through to try and get yourself back into that form? How do you kind of like get yourself back into the groove, if you wish? Um, I mean, it could be a number of things. What the, what the problem is, if you're playing, if you've picked the wrong set of bowls, too straight, too bendy, you've only got to pick the appropriate length. Um, or your opponent could just be playing fantastic, um, putting you under pressure. Or if I'm not playing Jet length, 27 meters. Just try and miss past to stay out of my way, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> the others build a target up for me, and my runners can get me out of trouble. You know, if you just sometimes you just, just don't catch it, and and then ten minutes later, you could after the game, you go back on and practice fantastic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, during the game, you've just got to move jack lengths, map positions. Better start for Catherine. Well, just slightly better from Stu. Seven inch gap. Twelve inches short of Jack High. She can get round it. It's obviously it's easier for us to tell through the camera lens, but there is still on a good pace. She can still get around that. Yeah, it's it's just what you're thinking between the ears. It probably, on the monitor, it probably looks like you you can't. just lacking the pace another yard that would have carried that over the top Again, she can still just score round her own. Yep. 
But Stewart's bowl seven inches away from the jack, so she can nearly finish six inches wide here and, and still count. Wouldn't want to put a little bit of a, a helping hand on the other hand. No. Could create a plant or a split, but... Uh, she's playing down the other hand. She's, she's going for a bit of cover. Oh. Not much for Stu other than the forehand draw. They could flirt with the forehand runner, but lots of bad contacts. Yeah, she was looking there if he got rid of his nearest ball, whether it was two or three down. I think it might be just two down, but just over the draw is the shot. To get back to the red ball. Not bad. Here we go. Oh, great ball again. Two shots, Stuart Irwin. Perfect there from Stu, great pace. Set score, one, two, of the two ends. Yeah, it was a shot where Catherine couldn't really block that shot. She, she, you know, she just had to try and get something in herself and just you know, take a chance if she was going to miss that. You could have tried to just play down and maybe up to it yourself first, but there's a little bit of danger. Jack length, 25 and a half. Didn't like that. Must be quick then, because the line looks good. Just needs to run. One green. She's persevered with the backhand longer than I thought she would. <laughs> Struggled to get back. Yeah, just kind of, like I say, struggling to just get the line. She's been there or thereabouts, just not nailing it on this backhand. Just see, it's just fighting away at the end there. Slightly overplayed. Most people do have a, a favoured hand, but it's like you say, it's how long do you persevere until you think, well, maybe I just need to just swap it. Stu's virtually had free run of the forehand and played it well. Yes. Slightly kinder, isn't it? Yeah.
Time out called. Catherine has two time outs remaining. Now, will she change or will she just try and stick with it? Yeah, I'm going to change. Oh, yeah, she changed, changed back, and then changed again. So looking to get down to the, the green bowl, a little touch on the jack would be good. Just needs to make the trip. Just ever so slightly. One shot, Stuart Irwin. Set score, one three after three ends. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. there again up the forehand yeah it's just always coming back to the jack isn't it on, on the forehand it's just this backhand there is a line to the backhand obviously but just a thinner line she's found it this time up to it yeah well played one red the difference there Nick is it on the forehand just Hungry. slightly over the pace you can just see the difference of the the finish of the bowls they're playing with a I think they're playing with a very similar bowl actually I think Catherine's playing with a with a pro Tiger pro and uh, she's playing with the Evo I believe now if onto this bowl nearly not far away Far away, to be honest. Stu probably have to swap now and beat the either of the reds. Yeah, you can turn the jack round the corner slightly out of sight. Wondering if Catherine will just take a chance with this. Certainly worth a chance. Yeah. You know, f floating with it probably isn't the way. Probably need to be a bit quicker. Yeah, just flip the bowl away. If she gets the corner of a nearest red bowl, she could nearly get both of these. Yeah. Very nearly. And she hold for it. Oh, great shot. 
Good shot, perfect connection. Catherine Rednall. Set score two three after four ends. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. So Catherine just electing to play a longer length jack. Slap of the thigh. Corrected. Catherine just made it back for two. It's very close. Now, just needs to make contact with his own bowl. He's underneath. Not quite so easy on the backhands for One sure. Red. Measure for two. Well, Good pace now. Yep, just going to limp in for three, I think. Ooh. Yep. Not easy. There's not a lot to hit either. He's got back position, but it's not a lot of guarantees. Would you just try and play down the backhand through Turn the court? Call. Just trying to get to the nearest red ball, work your way off the wider Jazz. ball. It's a dead pace is going to be needed because it will just hang there. I think you just got to try and draw the shot. If you get second, great. If you laid one or two, you'd draw another one there, easy. A little bit harder when you're two or three down, obviously. Switching back to the favoured forehand, it's which, whether he's got a line in on a draw or he's playing over.
Playing a reaching bowl, looking to get underneath the red bowl. Sit Catherine's or touch on the jack would be good. Just needs to make a contact. It's not far away. Well, it was a good bowl. Yeah, good bowl. Still undetermined whether he's got... Oh, Catherine's already told us. One green. <laughs> One shot. Stuart Irwin. Well, big turn around that, so let's just have a little look at what we have for you for the rest of today. Let's go, two, four, we'll nickel five, with you eight. all day today, so coming up next will be Marion Purcell of Wales with Rebecca Wilgress of England, and the evening game at half past seven will be Laura Daniels of Wales will take on Scotland's Carla Banks. Jack Link, 26 and a half metres. Perfect draw on the forehand. One red. Still room for Catherine on the forehand. She was under that ball with the last. Yeah, get to her own or the nearest green. Obviously, that may create a split, but can't just leave everything. No. Beneath. Well, it's a good ball. It may have just fallen out. Definitely in now. Two red. It's one of them where you've, if you played the backhand, you'd have to hold it in, because you stick wide and lift the green one in. She could very easily turn it in for second or shot, depends on the pace. She just get through the pack on the forehand with good pace. There is a gap. Yeah, there's a port. He found it. Don't want to get too much contact on the shot bowl to move the jack. Oh, great bowl. Swaps to the forehand, please. Three balls in a foot. <laughs> Yeah, as we said before, it's just a kinder hand. Backhand seems to be sticking, certainly, with the bowl she's got. Two red, measure for third. Stuart just asking to measure the third shot.
It's easy in. Yeah. Three shots. Catherine right now. Catherine bounces back with a three on the sixth end. Just gets a nose in front in this second set. Set score, 5-4 after six ends. Jack length, 27 metres. One green. Well, still a chance for either here. Yep, still plenty of room. Yep, sneaked in One for red. shot. All on his base now. Yep, it's going to be very close to the jack. One green. Seven inch gap to the shot. Gets back, pace is good. It'll be enough for shot. One red. Perfect pace. You could still draw off the back red. Yes. On the forehand, or you change to just play into the red, whichever. He's played the forehand so well. You'd there is an argument you could sure, stick for that. Yeah, if he's just slightly under, he can just turn his own bowl onto the the jack, depending on what pace he plays with, or he can just play down the backhand. As we know, with the backhand, he's going to have to be at exact pace, otherwise it'll just hang by. going to play a timing shot is he or not or just inside edge of the mat or is that just how he stands normally yeah you're right this will go very quick one 
One shot, Catherine Redknapp. Another single for Catherine. Four, six four off the seven ends. Five and a half meters. Twelve inches past Jack High. Quite an important end this. I think if Catherine wins the end, I think that should be maybe just enough just to squeeze the set. I think Stuart needs to probably win both of these ends. And and if he does, it's obviously enough. Because he would have scored and it would have been the half. Yep. One green. Ball from here. Stuart would put some pressure on. Hasn't done so. A little bit of room for Catherine. Yeah, she would be looking to just draw the shot, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully then she would then be three up playing the last, but she's got some work to do and didn't like the look of that one from hand that looks looks a bit quick I think one green well either way it's irrelevant this if he scores one it's still a one end shootout for the the set if he scores two still a one end shootout for the set yeah unless he's brave enough to tuck it for three this is irrelevant yep yeah very good bowl but it's still going to be a one end shootout for this second set two shots Stuart Irwin six apiece set score six six after eight in final end So, big end. It's been a very good game all the way through. Been some good play. Yeah, both played. Jack Link, both played de de decent.
not a shabby start. It's perfect pace to get down. He's got it. I'm back. One red. Great ball from Catherine. Was you go quick at this first time, do you think? I think so, yeah. It's irrelevant of scores, isn't it? You just need to get the shot. Clean jack into the ditch would make it very difficult. Showed from the other days, forehand runners pretty good. Both will be hoping it's off. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be very close. You can just see a, a small dot there, which is the indication of where the the rink marker is. Just a part of the jack needs to break the center black line. Right. You can see where the yellow marker is there. There's a very faint black line down the middle of the yellow marker. That is what we're looking for. The whole jack doesn't have to be in, only a part of the jack has to break the line. So here comes a very technical piece of equipment now. Yep, the long string. Very long string that will be held above the rink. And then there'll be a, just a little set square that will just come against the string. Get me washing out quickly as well, get it on there. It's out. Sigh of relief from both <laughs> both players. Yep, Catherine's got two goes. Yes. To Stuart's one. Very close between that green and your front red, Catherine. really matters to be honest they're both playing well enough to to beat those yeah well that's enough one red it's now how close Stuart gets this one yeah he puts it uh, anywhere near the jack Catherine has got the option obviously to run the bowl away He's got to obviously just concentrate on, on getting the shot first Set lie against him. The line's good. How's the pace? Looks quick. Oh, he's just going to go out the back door now. Every year, last ball. You'd play it anyway, wouldn't you, Nick? But if you've got any doubt, you've got six feet to win the set. Yeah. Yeah, here comes the winner. Into One the tiebreak, we're going set, to Catherine go. Right now. Match tiebreak. And probably a fair reflection. Yes, definitely. It's been a very, very good game all around. Stuart will be a little bit disappointed with his final bowl. He's been playing a lot better than that. Yeah, that's true. Catherine has won the toss and has elected to give the jack to Stuart in the first end. 
So Catherine gets that, what do you call it, a little bit of an advantage, I suppose, by toss of a coin. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether you, there's another way you could decide who gets choice. You know, total shots scored or... Yeah. I don't know, but I think toss of the coin has been the way for so long. Yeah, when I say advantage, of course, mm. the the player that wins the toss yeah, of the coin and half gets to choose on the first and third end if they keep or give the jack away. Obviously, if they give the jack away, which Catherine's done there, she gets last bowl, and that's quite important in most games that we see. And then Stuart will obviously have the choice on the second end. Even on the shots, it's very close. 15 shots, Stuart Irwin, 13 shots, Catherine Rednall. Both players won nine ends apiece. Just shows you how close it's been. Yep, very, very close. As is this one. That's an absolutely fantastic opening bowl. Almost perfect front toucher. If it's hit, normally goes with it. You're just drawing up to it with this one, you think? It's one of those things, that, do you try and draw to it, make it bigger, or do you try and dislodge it first? Certainly, if it draws you in to play just over the pace up the backhand, that's probably the one you want to avoid. Yep. Half inch gap. Should be wanting to stop as soon as possible. Yeah, I won't want to give Stuart a wing ball. Again, Nick, that one red backhand with pace. It's been not been very successful all week everyone just seems to be just drifting by yeah I'd be staying away from this if I was Catherine yep get the best back really because if if Stuart still plays that same shot and tucks it you've got one passed she decided the spot was the best place there's a little gap between the the red bowl and the jack it's whether Stuart can just get it thin enough and not to remove his own green ball. He has got the left spot Time covered, but Catherine will have that important damage, last ball to recover it. I think he's got to just play straight at this, Nick. Either a dead draw or play straight at it. I think more aggressive. Yep. Just catch it as thin as possible and then away from the jack. Come for the hard one, just over. He gets back with pace. So the first end will go to Catherine Rednall. First end, Catherine Rednall. Mm. Yeah, Stuart giving the jack away as well. Just shows you on the portal rink, Nick, time and time again. Sometimes it does, like you say, it, it just tempts you to play the bowl you could play easily on most rinks. Just just arriving the bowl normally just comes back towards the jack. The backhands on here just don't allow for that. Really yeah, difficult. Lo meters. Very low percentage conversion rates, to be honest. Almost can't try and invent something else. Might not look the right shot, but uh, you almost certainly got to try and play something else.
again. Great start. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be tempted already, but he'll draw with the first one. Finish well. Perfect spot. Depending on what Stu does this time, she'll go deeper next time, I would say. Yep, he wasn't too far away. Just the smallest of adjustments. Even if he gets under the jack to the bowl, that'd be good as well. Not bad here. Oh, well played. Gonna be unlucky. Or is he? Mm, fell back. Soon see. One red. Has been unlucky. It's a very good bowl. Change Catherine's plan now. Spot to the left. Yes. Or her left. <laughs> time out called. Catherine has two time outs remaining. Yep, good enough for the spot. And if he feathers the jack or crunches it to there. It's very similar to the previous end, this Nick. I think he's got to decide whether he plays oh. another dead draw or whether he wings this ball off. Call. Stuart has one time out remaining. Yeah, again, depends on how he feels. He's just played a great bowl. If he plays very similar, he'll be close, but could sit on it and still be one down. Be tempted to for the forehand runner, me, but. Just playing for the corner of the bowl, it's tight already. Yeah, you'll need to give it plenty of weight to hold it on. Let's try to time it. Been Rednell on the verge of going into the second round. The ladies are having a, a good week this week, Nick. Yeah, very good. Just shows that uh, standard they are. Yep, yeah. Alan Faulkner making history already in the Open Pairs final on Monday. Julie Forrest already into the second round playing some amazing bowls. Would you block here? You yes. I'm not very good at blockers. But well, me neither. <laughs> but I think she's just staying well out of the way, saying if you get it, get it. Yeah. One ball for Stuart to stay in. Maybe increase the pace, I think. Not bad, is he? How's the look? Depends on how far the jack comes. Oh, it's going to be unfortunate. A good hit from Stuart, but one it's going shot. to be one Go shot set. to my Catherine. Catherine Rednell Red takes this tie break set. Two ends to zero. Well, that was always going to be a fantastic game. It was nip and tuck all the way, but it was on the, the eighth end of the first set where Stuart Irwin played three amazing bowls to take a three, which took that first set. 9-6, again going into the second set. Nip and tuck all the way. Catherine laid a good three, but 
Stuart trailed the jack with the yard just to make a good one, but Catherine Reddle just managed to force it over the line and she will go into the second round. So order of play coming up very shortly on a brand new stream for you. Marion Purcell will take on Rebecca Wilgris and at 7.30 Laura Daniels and Carla Banks. So see you very shortly but until then please stay home and please stay safe. Bye bye.